Now let's talk about some income tax principles. We're going to talk about cost basis, capital gains, carryover basis, and step-up basis. Starting with cost basis, what is it? Cost basis is the original value of an asset for tax purposes. So a house, the basis is going to be the purchase price plus improvements. What is capital gain? The difference between the asset's cost basis and the current market value. Realized when the asset is sold. What is carryover basis? Carryover basis is a method for determining the tax basis when, when an asset is transferred by gift. So if senior transfers his house to his son by gift, the basis remains the same as the giver. So there we go. Mr. Estate re receives that cost basis even though the current market value of the house is greater than that amount. So if Mr. Estate sells the house, he will realize that gain and have to pay income taxes on that gain. What is step-up basis? This refers to a readjustment of the value of an appreciated asset for tax purposes upon inheritance. Basis increases to the market value at the date of death. So that's what they mean by step up. It, the basis steps up to the date of death value. So if Mr. Estate passes away and then transfers the house through his will or through his trust, Mr. Estate is going to receive the basis. It's going to be the fair market value as of the date of death. So if he sells the house at that time, there's going to be no income taxes owed. There's going to be no gains if the house is sold at that time. Income taxes are important as part of estate planning because oftentimes people, um, they may have income tax consequences, but they will not have estate tax consequences because the exemption is currently so high at $10 million. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any other questions or other topics that you'd like to see covered.